Hi Virgo, how are you? My name is Lauren B and this is the Untitled Tarot. If you are new here, welcome to the honeycomb. We're all family here and we are very happy to have you. We are gonna use a combination, Virgo, of the Mystical Shaman deck, ooh, look at that, and the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. It's um, it's an interesting little mix. I like the uh, Spirit Animal Oracle and the Mystical Shaman because it kind of um gives a little bit of freshness. The, sh the Shaman deck's a little heavy, so the Spirit Animal Oracle really brings like like a little levity, like a little levity to it. And I feel like you're a little bit in between. You're like really trying to balance your dualities, like the light and the dark, right? So it seems very fitting for you today. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see what's going on for you guys today. I wanna, I wanna know. I'm nosy, I'm nosy Virgo. So Father God, thank you for bringing me and my Virgos here today. I ask that you bless these messages, that you cover these cards, that you allow me to be wise and clear in delivering guidance for their highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you and we thank you in all your ways and all our days to the utmost high. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen, Virgo. Amen. So, let's see this card. The Jaguar card seems to want to come out. The Jaguar card, number 28, that breaks down to a 10, completion, completion. You know, the Jaguar card for me, I'm gonna take this card too, it often speaks of um, dealing, okay, 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 I'll take this card too, oh Lord. <laughs> it, um, it talks to me a lot about our, our shadow aspects, our shadow side. Now it comes through differently, you know, depending. But today what I'm seeing right here with this ball, this crystal ball, it's almost representing like your, your intuition or something that's precious to you, even with the circular, like your world, right? I'm almost seeing like the flash of like a traditional world card from the tarot in my head right now. It's your new season. It's your new cycle. It's your potential. It's your inner light and almost like your inner shadow aspect coming out to sort of protect it. Now, when we talk about our shadow and we like to shame our shadow a lot, but the thing is, is that we, we all exist in a duality. So you need your lighter and your darker aspects in order to be um, in unity with yourself, to be a whole being, right? And when your shadow is trained, I always like to say that your shadow is like a good guard dog, right? And like a good guard dog, if it's trained, it acts as an alert system, right? It acts as an alert system when you're on some bullshit, right? Like when your ego, your pride, like competition, any of that stuff is kind of rising inside of you. But it also alerts you when other people are kind of on some bullshit too, Virgo, right? It's like a good guard dog. If it's trained, it will guard your house, your home. If it isn't trained, it'll get out. It'll start terrorizing the neighborhood. It'll troop all your pillows, right? That's why it's important to like know ourselves fully. And this is your shadow side coming out right? Representing a big cat, right? Part of your intuition, that internal alert system. You see this light? You see this light, Virgo. I know you see it coming in to sort of protect your inner lightness, your inner sweetness, your future, your potentiality, all of the good stuff that's inside of you. Even, it even glows a little bit. You see how it glows? Followed up by the Andean cross. Now this talks about, um, inner dimensionality, um, uh, the, the hot kind of climbing the spiritual ladder and your gifts and your abilities in your, in your knowledge and your wisdom and your just connection with God, the almighty. I also say that this card always talks to me about baseball, which I know is kind of funny, but for me, it kind of talks about kind of, again, those steps, like going through the bases first, second, third, kind of making your way back home, right? Learning how to play the game learning how to deal with all aspects of yourself, learning how to deal with all different kinds of energies, also being able to differentiate which energies are coming in, right? Is this a helpful, there's a lot of energies in the world, right? So a lot of people personally, they'll talk about how I do prayers at the beginning of my readings. And I do that for a reason, because there's a lot of different energies that float around. Not all of them are in your highest or best good. Not every thought that pops in your head is your own thought. Not everything that comes across you is from your angels, is from your spiritual support team. Sometimes it's like yucky energy that wants to come and trip you up. So again, and do you know what I love? Do you know what I love? Is it almost looks like, again, like I said, like your shadow side is coming up right now as a form of a defense mechanism, but it doesn't feel unhealthy. It feels like very necessary. It feels very necessary. It's part of your survival instinct. Coming in to protect your potential, your future, the new world, the new cycle phase in your life. And also, like I said, your internal light, your internal sweetness. And I love that it's like almost as you're rounding these bases, right? Kind of learning a little bit more about yourself, learning about which energies are for you, which people are for you, which are against you, really getting a better grasp of the game. 
it's almost like I see this jaguar almost like, like pawing, pawing, tossing, pushing. That's probably a better word. Pushing this little ball, right? Right in here, right through this little hole. And I almost see it like getting stuck, like getting stuck in here. And then this becomes complete. And then it almost, for me, it's almost looks like this little ball goes in, fills up this hole, like the void, right? Almost like that missing piece. Maybe you've been trying to sit so much in your light energy a little bit that your, your inner shadow felt perhaps a bit abandoned. And sometimes when it feels abandoned, like a little kid, it starts acting out for attention sometimes. And then this Andean cross becomes complete, becomes complete. And then it starts to glow. It's like the, the full potential. It's like that, that uh, activation, that activation factor, right? But it's almost like you needed your inner shadow to kind of step up and push that forward because your inner light is like so sweet and it's like so open and it's so forgiving that it, like it oftentimes doesn't know how to stand up for itself. So you really needed those like heavier aspects. Again, it's like this deck, like light and heavy to kind of work in unison in order to create this, to fill up that void. So that way it could kind of start to ebb and flow. And then you have it followed up by this cow spirit. And in many cultures, cows are a sacred being, realizing that you are an extension of creation, that you have a sacred spirituality, a sacred wholeness to you that comes from God as an extension of him. And with that, we have the miracles are endless, realizing that you in and of itself, your life is a miracle. Your future is a miracle, right? Not everybody gets to climb the ladders of spirituality like you do right now, Virgo. Not everybody gets to know themselves as well. Not everybody gets to see even like the magic, right? Gets to see God and know God in the way that you do. See like the word magic. Yeah, the word magic. And then I'm seeing flashes of Harry Potter, which is funny, um, kind of come through, right? Some people go through their day and that's just the way it is. And that's just a coincidence. And that just happens. And oh, whatever, right? It's like life is so consequential. It's so circumstantial. It's so vanilla, right? But it's like when you can kind of move up the ladder, get to know yourself as a whole integrated being, see yourself as an extension of creation, everything sparkles, everything sparkles. And in that, an attitude of gratitude brings abundance in being grateful for the sparkle of life. It's like in that miracles are endless. There is bounty, there is blessings, there are abundance, right? All of these things get to come in for you. That's so gorgeous. Patch mama, patch mama, mother Gaia, mother earth energy, right? This is you kind of being able, especially as an earth sign, being able to kind of ground that, which is take the wisdom, the clarity, that, that inner knowing, that second sight, that, that seer ability that you have, right? And really root it, really ground it down here into the natural. That's what manifestation is. Manifestation is when God's promises, God's purpose for you, you know, your full authority, power, and potential in him gets to come down into the natural realm. When you get to walk it out, literally, step by step, feel it, touch it, embrace it, right? Not just emotionally, not just spiritually, but literally before you. The things that you see with your second sight are now visible to your two eyes. That's what manifestation is. And in this, now this is what's coming in for you is the grounding, rooting, natural manifestation of all of this kind of ethereal power, wisdom, knowledge, sight that you've had sort of floating around your head, almost like a mobile. Now it's getting to sort of come in like pixels, like pixels, getting to see the full picture. By seeing the full picture of yourself, you're getting to see the full picture in the natural for yourself. All right, I'll take this too. beautiful. Another 10. Another 10. Lion spirit. Be generous of spirit. Be generous of spirit. It's um that energy, Virgo, that I think you've... Um, I'm hearing regenerative. Maybe this uh, new moon in Scorpio with the release to receive, death and rebirth sort of energy is coming in. It's this idea that um when you look back on your past, Virgo, anything that was ever taken from you, separated from you, whatever it may be... um. I think you realize that nothing was ever taken from you without being returned, without being restored, replaced, all these re's, without something 
better without something more and i think that comes in with this kind of king lion of judah right also um energy of like healthy pride and power and authority like i said coming in being like you can be generous with your love and you can be generous with your emotions and and you can be generous even with your shadow side in the sense of like letting it roam free and the jaguar almost looks like a little annoyed like you really were trying to forget about me virgo like you really forgot all the heavy lifting that i do for the spiritual team inside your body okay okay virgo right so it's this idea that knowing that if you open yourself up to the world, if you allow yourself to be available or vulnerable, right? Like it's okay because no one can take anything from you that you can't make more of because God can heal you. You can make more love. You're like a spring, right? You just keep coming up. You just keep pouring. You just keep producing ideas, creativity, energy, love, potential. Like that no one's going to drain your potential giant because of that. You can be generous of spirit. You can um, extend yourself to others without that scarcity mindset of feeling like they're going to drain you dry. Followed up by card number 44, a master number, a number of empowerment. The sacrifice, right? The sacrifice. And what she has in her hand, it's a little orange butterfly. Now, butterflies, we know, talk about transformation, but orange butterflies in particular... They talk about really um, transforming our aggressions and our anger, right? That comes back to the sort of like scarcity mindset thing that we were just talking about. Again, realizing that, and also with our with our shadow side, realizing that these darker parts of ourselves aren't bad parts of ourselves. It's not the worst of us, right? It's just part of our further like integrated whole. And that instead of, again, like lashing out at people or getting revenge or doing any of that kind of stuff, that we don't need to do that, that, that we can transform that. We can have compassion and love and forgiveness while also maintaining healthy boundaries. Yes, I forgive you, but no, you can't come here. This is my sacred space. I will defend myself. Like I will self-advocate for myself and anything else that happens. I know God will take care of it. Like vengeance is always his. Like, so I'm not going to worry about not being able to love and be open and extend and communicate and participate with others. It's like part of that. It's like sacrificing, um, like, um, it's almost like sacrificing the time and the energy that it would take to train your shadow side to not let it overcome you allow it to be like a part of the family allow it to be a part of the family and in that you get to move into the luminous warrior 30 32 that breaks down to a five so that's a change in the way you fight your battles now as well right again remember how i said look oh look how i said i love that i love that how this was like your inner light right this is your new phase this was your inner sweetness right kind of being guarded by your shadow side and how it comes over here into this Andean cross, kind of filling up that void, right? And then it kind of starts to ebb and flow. And then the potentiality, the miracles, the blessings, the abundance kind of flow through through you and then get rooted down into the natural. And then here you are as the luminous warrior. And there's that ball. Now it's that fire in your belly, right? And there's this big bright moon, right? These brightness right here. But then there's also these dark parts as well. Integration, knowing that, again, you can be a being of light, an extension of sacred creation. And at the same time, like, you know how to self-advocate for yourself in the natural. You know how to ascertain which energies, which thoughts, which emotions are not yours. Are there to trip you up? Are that weird, negative, janky, devil, juju energy, whatever that may be, right? However you like to define that for yourself. And it's also a change in the way that you fight your battles as well. Not fighting them from a place of pride and ego and competition and all of that trying to um fill up some void of, of feeling unworthy or undeserving or any of that right knowing that you are already whole you already have a purpose you already have an inner light that shines out no one can actually really deem your light only thing that can happen is you can take a cap and put it on your own light you can do that to yourself but now you realize why would i why would i virgo it's beautiful it's beautiful. It's a great reading. Okay. 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 Do you see? Your cards are flying. Okay, I'll take this too because it seems like it wants to come out. Oh, beautiful. 34. Hummingbird spirit, be here now. Now, hummingbirds are gorgeous because we talk about like the birds and the bees, right? Um, this is a very fertile energy. It's a pollinating energy. It's also very, it's like almost like a chariot energy because a hummingbird 
beats its wings, flaps its wings at like a hundred times per minute, right? It's about like, did you see my nose? It's like forward moving, right? Very forward moving. It's a sense of um, being very present, being very present with yourself while also maintaining a certain amount of um, foresight foresight moving forward but still appreciating your process um respecting and honoring yourself in your feelings part of as you're going through your journey with ant spirit coming out next time to collaborate what four five six seven plus one that's eight infinite right again infinite potential that you have when you become a co creator that's part of this collaboration it's not just with like other people in the natural it's also with god and it's with your angels it's with your spiritual support team again that purpose those ideas that divine inspiration kind of coming again into the natural, which then allows you to then go work with other people in the natural. Build up your soul tribe. Walk out your purpose. All of that. It goes up and then it goes down. It goes up and then it goes down. That's part of that eight. It's part of that in infinite cyclical cycles that you're now learning you're going through. And now it feels like instead of fighting that process, you're thriving through that process, which again is really bringing up this miracles are endless because it talks about your sacred potential. Even the weather, it like gets sunny for a second and then it gets really cloudy like it's going to storm. And then it gets sunny for a second and then it gets really cloudy like it's going to storm. It like ebbs and flows and ebbs and flows. Not fighting your own ebbs and flows as well. Beautiful. Skunk spirit. Know your worth. Know your worth, right? You don't have any... Woo. <coughs> Bless me. You know your worth now. Remember, you don't have any of these voids now because you're not leaving any bits of yourself out, not the light or the dark. And something that's interesting to note about skunks as well is skunks admit um, a certain kind of aroma, right? It's part of their natural defense mechanism. So again, it's energetically being able to pick up when people, places, and things are not in alignment with you. They are not for you, right? Sometimes it's not better, worse, or indifferent, but and sometimes it's, um, I like to call it, it's sort of like turbulation. It's like turbulation in a plane when like you're at like a high altitude and then you have to drop to a lower altitude. Like when you get, when you meet a certain energy, even if it's just spiritually or whether it's in an environment with a person in a situation, right? And all of a sudden you start feeling that like conflict, you start feeling that friction, that kind of like shaking up, racing thoughts, anxiety, like all of that stuff. That's how you know you're at different altitudes, you're at different frequencies, you're at different vibrations. And being able to ascertain that more quickly allows you to then kind of like batten down the hatches, like as if it was going to rain, batten down the hatches. And then again, preserve your energy. Your inner shadow can come up now that it's trained, now that it's a part of the family, right? Your inner masculine, your inner feminine, your inner child, your higher self, your shadow self, all working in unison together to protect your potential, to protect your worth, to remind you, set those energetic boundaries, preserve that sacred space that you have. Mm, beautiful. Fox spirit, think on your feet. Again, that's two nines. 54 and 72. Nine, nine. Nine, nine is a light worker number, right? And light working doesn't just have to be um, Reiki or um, prophets or tarot card readers or like that's not all just light, light working, right? Um, doctors, you're a healer. That's light working, right? Um, you don't just have to do like collective work. That's not just light working. Um, being kind to someone on the street, spreading that kind of like love and openness and receptivity, that's light working. But this 99 is a call to kind of step up in your light working abilities, which you can do when I said you're integrated as a whole because you're not trying to like step forward with all your light. And then when you meet that negative energy, which always, all things in balance, will always come to test you. Now your inner lightness is like getting all beat up and bruised and all sad because not everything is like all love and puppies and kittens and high vibe, right? So your inner shadow has to come forward. And if you locked it in a closet in a cupboard like Harry Potter, then the magic can't happen, right? Because you're leaving part of yourself. That's part of like soul retrieval as well, is not fractioning parts of your own spirit off at the same time. Being able to immediately discern, think on your feet. Is this friend? Is this foe? Is this high? Is this low? What do I got to do about this right now, right? Again, that's kind of going back to this luminous warrior, changing the ways in which you protect yourself, the ways in which you preserve your space. You, the ways you kind of honor your own energy, the ways in which you fight your battles, whether they're spiritual, energetic, or natural. Beautiful. Beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. Mary Morris, baby, when the bones are good, right? This is talking about yourself, your internal 
foundation emotionally, spiritually, mentally, in the natural, the way you take care of yourself, the way you take care of your body. Are you honoring your body? Do you need rest? Do you need water? Like, do like, what do you need, right? Like, what do you need? Why do I have to go everywhere, though? That's the question that I have. Beautiful. Oh, there's two here. How interesting. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Okay. So we have the curse, we have the gatherer, we have the stag spirit, take the lead. Again, I'm seeing Harry Potter, like Patronus, like the Patronus, and then Liz Harry Potter's been coming up a lot this week. And then we have the lizard spirit, dream the world into being. I actually see the curse and the stag and then the gatherer and the lizard kind of together. The curse, stag, take the lead. When we talk about the curse, we talk about life and death and the power of the tongue, right? Speaking life into yourself, speaking life into your future, speaking wholeness, blessings, all of that, joy, peace, um, recovery, all of that into yourself, taking the lead, almost like getting ahead of a problem, right? When something seems, when you're able to ascertain that something's a little up, being able to go to it and either speak it down or speak life into it, whatever it may be. Again, thinking on your feet, knowing which way to move when it comes to you. And then the gatherer, dream the world into being lizard spirit. Lizards also being very much like the snakes would have represent a, a shedding of a skin, um, a, a regeneration energy of sorts as well. Gathering up the things that you need, which is your intentions, visualization, right? Kind of imagining yourself with being abundant, a cornucopia, more than what you need, everything that you have, right? Everything that you want, that you dream, that God has purposed for you, blessed, abundance, fertility, more than enough more than enough and as this lizard sort of like climbs up here it's a little bit like climbing the spiritual ladder like we have in the andean cross earlier on in your spread it's the same kind of thing though despite in the natural you might feel very small being able to dream to visualize right that second sight energy that we've really been able to um harness virgo is now again manifested into the natural after that visualization that purpose see these little moons how they kind of come down from the ethereal into the natural that pixelization from going from the second or the third sight into your normal two natural eyes right here it's gorgeous it's absolutely gorgeous and with all these pumpkins and everything too that talks about harvest season and harvest season um people forget harvest season is the hardest season you always are working during harvest season because it takes a lot to go gather your crops right it takes a lot to go gather your crops but when you've spent so much time energetically kind of building up that picture for yourself and then in the natural you then go and spend all of that energy to go and collect your bounty to go and collect your blessings so virgo that's a really cool read i really liked this for you i hope that you enjoyed it i hope this resonated thank you guys for being here for liking and sharing and the subscribers welcome to all the new bees the new bees. Um, if you are interested in daily, weekly, and monthly content, that is on the Patreon. That is linked in the description box along with my Instagram, my email for personal readings, and all the decks that I use. This was the Mystical Shaman Oracle and the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. So thank you very much for being here, Virgo. And until I see you next time, stay prayed up, stay blessed, stay whole. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.